Welcome, brave viewers, to a chilling journey into the abyss of the internet. Today, we delve deep into three true dark web horror stories, a compilation of the most terrifying tales from the darkest corners of the web. These are not for the faint-hearted, stories that will unsettle your nerves and challenge your comfort with the unknown. So, grab your flashlight and let's illuminate the shadowy paths rarely traveled, unveiling truths that lurk beneath the surface of the digital world. Get ready. These stories are real, raw, and riveting. I've always harbored a morbid curiosity about the deep web, a place shrouded in eerie tales told by those who dare to explore it. They speak of sites that host ghastly human experiments and disturbing live feeds, prying into people's lives through hijacked security cameras. My first foray into this shadowy world led me to a sight so vile, detailing the assassination of innocents that it sent shivers down my spine, urging me to exit swiftly. But curiosity propelled me deeper, and I stumbled upon another macabre sight, this one streaming live from various locations. The feeds were mostly of desolate rooms and empty spaces, though some displayed a bizarre, festive-like chaos resembling a Halloween nightmare. As I peered into these rooms, a sense of unease crept over me, a gut feeling that something was profoundly wrong. My conscience screamed to turn away, to shut it all down, but my eyes caught a haunting line at the bottom of the dark interface. Proceed at your own risk. Driven by an insatiable curiosity, I continued. My screen flickered to a dismal room illuminated only by the eerie glow of night vision. A corner of the room stirred, revealing what seemed to be a human limb. Then, a figure emerged into view. A young girl, perhaps in her early twenties, with long, tangled black hair and a twisted posture. She moved laboriously, dragging herself with one leg, her gaze fixed on the ground. As she suddenly lifted her head, her disproportionately large eyes met mine through the screen. Her face, streaked with tears and marred by dark makeup, bore lips grotesquely stitched together with coarse, white thread. The sight struck a chord of deep dread within me, a visceral reaction to the grotesque display. I tried to rationalize the horror before me as a sham, a cruel trick, yet the gnawing in my stomach persisted. My eyes, almost against my will, darted to the ominous number 10421, a cryptic sign of the dark web's unyielding mysteries. As the girl's desperate eyes flickered across the screen, she shakily held up a piece of cardboard, scrawled with a haunting plea. If anyone is watching me online, Please, help me. The muffled sobs broke through, her cries stifled by the cruel stitches that sealed her lips. Overwhelmed by the grim scene, I hastily shut down the sight and sought solace in my girlfriend, Paolo. I recounted the macabre spectacle, my words tumbling out in a frenzied torrent. You won't believe what I saw. The girl, She's trapped and tortured. Paolo's frustration was palpable as she lamented my reckless foray into the dark web, a realm she had vehemently warned me against. Her voice was a mix of fear and admonishment. You never listen. That poor girl. What if it's real? What if she's really in danger? The debate of whether to involve the police tangled our conversation. The reality of the situation's ambiguity paralyzing our decision. Eventually, silence enveloped us, 
and I attempted to find rest, but sleep eluded me. The girl's haunting image etched into my mind, her bloodied lips, the desperation in her eyes, the cryptic message. Compelled by a need for clarity and air, I ventured outside, my footsteps aimlessly carrying me away from the safety of home. But a sinister presence lurked. A black van trailed me, its movements stealthy and deliberate. My heart raced, paranoia mounting with each step. Suddenly, my phone shattered the night stillness. It was Paolo. But instead of her voice, all I heard were muffled screams. A chilling echo of the girl from the dark web. Panic surged propelling me back home, only to find an empty, haunting silence. Paolo was gone. Frantic, I received another call. This time, a malevolent voice taunted me from the other end. Stay off the dark web, kid. This isn't for you. The call ended with a sinister reminder of the video's beginning. A girl locked away. Her ordeal recorded over 13 agonizing hours. The threat was clear, the danger all too real. As the narrative drew to a close, the line between fiction and reality blurred, leaving a lingering question. What horrors truly lie within the shadows of the dark web? Locked away with dwindling resources, the girl's situation grew increasingly dire. She confronted the camera with a sign declaring her desperate need for water, her only connection to the outside world. Her eyes, filled with an unspoken plea, bore into the lens, conveying the stark reality of her plight. Viewers of this distressing footage speculated it might be a live broadcast from a red room, a horrifying facet of the dark web where individuals are subjected to unspeakable acts for the twisted entertainment of anonymous spectators willing to pay a premium. The very mention of these rooms sends shivers down the spine. A stark warning against the perils of venturing too deep into the dark web. My name is Riley, and amidst this chaotic world, I sought a simpler dream, to be a narrator, perhaps an actor, craving the spotlight yet overwhelmed by the intensity of social media. My journey was quiet and unassuming until my friend C introduced me to the lucrative trend of reaction videos. Eager for a breakthrough, I stumbled upon the concept of unboxing mystery boxes, which catapulted my channel from obscurity to surprising popularity overnight. The thrill of the unknown captivated my audience, and their appetite for more grew insatiably. Driven by this newfound success, I craved a unique angle to maintain the momentum. That's when Cinti whispered the idea of procuring a mystery box from the dark web. Despite the chilling tales and inherent risks, the lure of the unknown was too enticing. So I ventured forth, purchasing a box wrapped in crime scene tape, its ominous instructions suggesting a live unboxing. I enlisted Cindy's help with the purchase, and the next day, a hefty package arrived, marked only with my address. Excitement mixed with apprehension as I announced the impending unboxing on my YouTube channel. At 8.30 p.m., I sat before the camera, the heavy box looming beside me. With bated breath and an audience watching, I carefully opened the box to reveal its dark secrets. The contents, unknown and potentially malevolent, waited to unfold before the eager eyes of the virtual world. As the lid lifted, the anticipation reached a fever pitch. Each viewer unknowingly tied to the fate of what lay inside. 
with trepidation, I reached into the box, my hand clasping around something chillingly cold. In a reflex of horror, I flung it away, only to realize it was a human finger, eerily preserved and dry to the point where every vein was visible. My scream echoed as the item landed back in the box, and the live stream erupted with comments, some expressing shock, others a morbid curiosity to see what else lay hidden within. Next, I withdrew a small pencil box reminiscent of those from school days. Inside, a grotesque collection of hair and clipped nails, accompanied by inscrutable instructions. With every item pulled from the box, my unease deepened. Then, I uncovered what appeared to be a severed head at the bottom. It was, thankfully, fake, but the resemblance to Cindy was uncanny and unsettling. I ended the live stream abruptly and tried calling Cindy, only to be greeted by her voicemail. Panic set in as I searched the house, finding it in disarray with signs of a violent struggle. Then, a gruesome discovery at the foot of the stairs. A severed finger with familiar red nail polish and a rainbow ring. The one I had given Cindy for her 18th birthday. The realization hit me like a freight train, and the dark web's nefarious reality no longer seemed like distant tales. This narrative is a grim reminder of a disturbing trend from about a decade ago, when YouTubers ventured into unboxing mystery boxes from the dark web, not knowing what horrors they might find. These boxes, purchased with untraceable cryptocurrency, often contained macabre items ranging from blood-stained tools to relics of witchcraft. The videos attracted thousands, feeding into a dark curiosity that sometimes led to regret and fear, especially when personal addresses were used for delivery. This cautionary tale underscores the unpredictable and often dangerous nature of delving into the dark web's hidden marketplaces. It's a world where anonymity reigns, and the cost of curiosity can be alarmingly high, both in monetary terms and personal safety. As the mystery box trend escalated, many YouTubers voiced their regret and dismay recounting tales of empty boxes or disappointing, sometimes disturbing contents. It was a gamble, a lesson learned in trust and the unpredictable nature of the dark web's marketplaces. Amid this chorus of disapproval, I found myself navigating a lonely path, my attempts at social connections falling short in the real world. That's when curiosity led me to a darker version of dating platforms, a place where individuals with unique quirks and backgrounds sought companionship. One night, my digital wanderings matched me with Allison. Her profile was mysterious, all her pictures showcasing her from behind, her long brown hair flowing down her back. When she messaged me, a spark of hope flickered. Our conversations were tentative at first, but soon Allison expressed a desire to meet. The prospect of connection, of not being alone anymore, was too compelling. I eagerly accepted her invitation, my heart buoyed by the thought of finally finding someone. I dressed with care, filled with a mix of anticipation and nerves, and headed to the address she had given. The neighborhood, once familiar, now seemed alien, its decrepit appearance casting a shadow over my excitement. I found myself at room number 13, an ominous number that did little to ease my growing apprehension. Taking a deep breath, I knocked, only to be met with silence. 
Doubt crept in as I checked the address and knocked again. Still no answer. Peering through the window, the room appeared empty. The silence thick and unyielding. A sense of foreboding washed over me as I knocked a final time. The stillness inside unbroken. Then, as I was about to turn away, a chill ran down my spine. A sudden sense that something was amiss. The eerie quiet, the desolate surroundings. Everything seemed to conspire, weaving a tale of caution and mystery. What lay beyond that door, in the shadowy realm of room number 13, remained an enigma. A chapter in the dark web saga that I was perhaps fortunate never to have read. Driven by an inexplicable mix of fear and curiosity, I pushed the door open, my heart pounding as the creak echoed through the silent hallway. The interior was a grim sight, strewn with broken furniture and debris, a stark contrast to any home. My calls for Allison went unanswered, her name echoing off the desolate walls. I navigated the ruinous space, each room revealing nothing but abandonment and decay. The kitchen, however, held a horrifying sight. Allison lay on the floor, lifeless and limp, her body marked with bruises that told a silent tale of violence. I rushed to her side, my mind racing with panic and confusion. Her skin was chillingly warm to the touch, her complexion turning a ghostly pale. Desperation took hold as I realized the gravity of the situation. The urgent need for help pressing down on me. I fumbled for my phone, intending to dial for emergency services. But as my hand brushed against the device, a notification diverted my attention. It was a message from Allison, an eerie proclamation of finding me, a sentiment that sent shivers down my spine. Bewildered and frightened, I tried to piece together the events unfolding around me. Before I could make sense of it all, Another sound broke the oppressive silence, a phone ringing from within her purse. With trembling hands, I reached for the phone, hoping for clues, for some understanding of the nightmare I had stumbled into. The screen lit up with a new message, one for myself, Liam. The realization dawned on me, a sinister and twisted revelation that left me reeling. What dark web of deceit had I become entangled in? The air grew heavy with the weight of unanswered questions and lurking danger. A stark reminder of the deep web's treacherous depths and the perilous journey I had embarked upon. Overwhelmed by the grotesque scene before me and the cryptic message on Allison's phone, my mind reeled in horror. The room seemed to spin, and a wave of nausea overcame me as I stumbled, my consciousness fading into black. When I awoke, I was a prisoner of my own confusion, grappling with the eerie realization that the conversations on Tinder mirrored my own, yet twisted in a sinister role reversal. It was as if I had stepped into a parallel reality one where I was both victim and perpetrator. I scrambled to piece together the puzzle, but before I could make sense of the chilling duality, the sound of sirens pierced the air. In a blur of motion, I found myself restrained and placed in the back of a police car, my pleas of innocence lost amidst the chaos. Since that harrowing day, my life has been a relentless quest to clear my name, but the shadow of doubt hangs heavy over me. Each night is a battle against the haunting memories, my mind teetering on the brink of madness. The truth seems just out of reach, 
a maddening puzzle with pieces that refuse to fit. Tomorrow, I face another round of questioning. The dread of impending doom tightening its grip. I am haunted by the grim prospect of a future behind bars for a crime I swear I did not commit. The web, with its dark allure, has ensnared me in its unforgiving grip. How I wish I had heeded the warnings, stayed clear of the treacherous paths that led here. As I recount this tale, a warning to all who may stumble upon it, remember the perils that lurk in the shadows of the deep web. A world where reality can twist and turn into your worst nightmare. As the story concludes, let it be a solemn reminder of the perils hidden within the digital shadows. The deep web, a labyrinth of the unseen, holds tales of caution for those who tread its paths. May this narrative serve as a beacon guiding the curious away from the seductive whisper of the unknown and back to the safety of the light. For in the pursuit of the hidden, one might find themselves lost, a mere shadow in the vast, uncharted depths of the internet. Beware, for not all that is sought should be found. Let this be the end of one tale and the beginning of wisdom for all who hear it, stay safe, stay aware, and may your journeys lead you away from darkness and towards understanding.